If you're a rock pop drummer and you're trying to expand your horizons and add a bit more funk and sauce into your playing, then I can think of no better person to check out than Chad Smith of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. He just does a great job of infusing little funkisms, for instance, ghost notes in songs like Other Side. He also incorporates the swing feel, which is another really common aspect of funk music in songs like Mellow Ship Slinky in B major. And he harkens back to old James Brown grooves like Cold Sweat and I Got the Feelin' in the way that he displaces his backbeats in songs like Charlie. So today, we're gonna check out 15 super funky Red Hot Chili Peppers beats to get you guys going in the right direction with adding some sauce into your grooves. But wait just a second, before we get ahead of ourselves and go right into the beats, I wanna first lay out two key techniques that Chad uses that gives his grooves their distinctive sound. The first is that he's using a whipping stroke motion in his right arm on the hats, which creates these accents on the down beats and these ghost notes on the off beats. The second key thing is that Chad tends to bounce his left foot towards the back of the hi-hat pedal, which causes the hi-hats to open just slightly and introduce just the right amount of sloshiness into his beats. This is a absolute hallmark of his playing, and he uses this technique the vast majority of the time. And when you start to listen for it, you'll notice that it adds this rawness and stankiness into his beats, which makes them sound funkier. All right. Now that we've gotten all that out of the way, it is time to check out these beats. For these first five, we're gonna take a look at the way Chad uses ghost notes because this is probably the best way to add a little bit of that funk into your drumming. First up is Can't Stop, which has these little ghost note drags at the end of the measure that Chad likes to throw in. In this next example, we've got ghost notes that directly follow the backbeat on beat two, and we're gonna continue to put that drag in at the end of the measure. This is Californication. Next, we're gonna crank up the tempo a bit. This is Other Side. This next one's gonna be a little bit trickier because you're gonna go back and forth between those ghost notes that directly follow the backbeats and those drags. See if you can pull it off. This is Purple Stain. Now we're gonna crank that tempo back up again and combine some ghost notes with a pretty tricky kick pattern as well. This is Get On Top. Now, for our next two grooves, we're gonna move on to yet another must-know funkism, and that's the ability to swing your beats. First up is scar tissue.
Let's move on to another swung one. This one's gonna be a little bit trickier because the right hand goes back and forth between the hi-hats and the snare drum backbeats. This allows the left hand to fill in a bunch of ghost notes and gives the groove a little bit of a busier vibe. This is Mellow Ship Slinky in B major. Okay, you've been doing well. Let's up the ante a little bit more. These next few grooves all use syncopated backbeats on the snare drum. And that just means instead of playing on two and four like normal, we're gonna mix up those backbeats throughout the measure to create some funkier sounding beats. First up is Emit Remus, and it puts the backbeats on the and of two and four. Next up is Naked in the Rain, and it puts the backbeats on two, the uh of three, and the e of four. Next up is I Like Dirt, which is a saucy little number which puts the backbeats on the uh of one and the e of three. And my favorite of the bunch is Charlie, which puts the backbeats on two and the and of four. Wow, okay, we have covered the gambit, you guys. We've done ghost note beats, we've done swung beats, we've done syncopated backbeat beats. And so for these last four grooves, I kinda just wanted to share with you four of my favorite Chili Pepper songs to jam to, because I figured you guys would enjoy jamming to them as well. First up is an absolute classic. This is Give It Away. The next beat uses one of my all-time favorite kick patterns. This is Danny California. Next up, we're adding some alternating 16th notes on the hi-hats to give it a little bit of that flavor. This is Around the World. And last, but certainly not least, we've got a groove that throws in a bark on the hi-hat, which you all know I'm all about. This is Suck My Kiss. Alright, that's gonna do it for this one everybody. I really hope that these beats inspire you to add a bit of that funk and sauce into your own playing. I'll have the transcriptions and practice loops for these beats linked down below if you wanna shed over them at home. Thanks as always for watching and I will see you all next time. You take it easy, bye bye.